those of you where this isn't something hella traumatic, it's, it's, this is something that needed to shake your foundation because. Watch them grow, perceive devote. This is the seed, light the show. Watch them grow. Hello, Aries. Welcome to your October 2019 general reading. I am Princess India. If you are new, if you are family, welcome back, my friend, the 99 and the 2000. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so we're going to start with you guys pick a card. So go ahead and pick number one, two, or three. And we're using this, if you haven't cross watched other readings, to be uh, the overall energies for our extended because we're doing general, general here. And in the event that you feel like you need something more specific, you can go over to Vimeo if you feel you need one, you know what I'm saying? But anywho, one, two, and three. But I'm going to tell you guys really quick what I got for you intuitively. What I'm really feeling, Aries, it's heavy. Um, but the main thing is it's the energy I felt for y'all is hella heavy. But th it's not really so much with... I'm supposed to convey here is not the heaviness. It's it's more fixated on the fact that you're being supported by spirit. So more or less, regardless of how impossible the situation you guys are in or have just come out of maybe, or if there's, you know, some sort of ending or a loss or a betrayal or anything along those lines, the most important thing to um, note in all of this is that uh, this is something that's being divinely guided and orchestrated, even though, it may not look presently that it's in your highest good. It is. But when it comes to like to go easy on yourself, but going forward, just and this has been a theme for literally everyone this month. Uh, it's like coming to Jesus moments and authenticity. So it's being sure that whatever it is that you guys are going in the direction of going forward, whatever it is that you guys are um you know, uh, seeds you're planting or paths you're choosing, what have you, is making sure that you're electing things that are a reflection of your highest good for yourself as well as your truth and find comfort in knowing that you're supported by spirit, right? So if you pick card number one, we have despondence. If you pick card number two, we have service. And if you pick card number three, we have renewal. I think that's the third, no, the third sign to get that this month. I know Gemini was one of them. I forgot who else got that card. But let's go ahead and jump into you guys' cards. But that's what I feel is um, of utmost importance. So, I mean, the energy felt really heavy to the point where it's like I'm still kind of feeling it in my chest. So I don't know if it was, you know, something shocking or, or, or what have you. But the most important thing to know in all of this, like I said, is that... Um, your path is being divinely orchestrated, even if it doesn't seem as so presently, right? Totally understand how that is, my friend. So your central energy for the month of October is the Hierophant in the reverse. This is challenged by all oh, the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Oh, okay, past influence is the world reverse. Interesting. Underlying influence is the two of swords. Okay, above energy is the three of chalasas. And going forward, we have the nine of wands. Okay, Whew, this makes total sense. It's something I was getting with this hierophant in the reverse. What was it? It was similar to what I told another sign. What... What this feels like for me, y'all, especially with the world being in the reverse, this kind of lets me know that you guys, like, it's in, let me make sure I say this properly. Where you guys are presently, don't put pressure on yourself right now to have it all figured out, to know your path moving forward, or feel like you guys need to be in a certain state or place right now. Because I feel, I don't know, it feels almost like a new reality to me. It's like, I feel that whatever it is that you guys have experienced, it's deeper than just the rug being pulled from under you. It's almost like a need to completely reconfigure, like, how you guys want to move forward. Like, you think of building collapsing and being at ground zero and trying to figure out like, what the hell am I going to do from here type of deal? 
But the thing that I want to stress is because with the Hierophant, it feels like, I don't know, man, it's like a heavy disappointment in the sense of like, like the foundations or, or, uh, beliefs or, uh, traditions you guys have built your life on have been uprooted in a sense. So it's almost like having like a crisis of faith almost, but not necessarily in the sense of like faith, but it's just everything. It feels like everything you've known to be true or everything that you've known to work a certain way or who you were supposed to be up to this point, whatever this is that transpired has kind of thrown you guys off kilter to where you're kind of questioning everything, right? So it's not really being able, and, and that's the reason why I'm saying all of that is like, I don't want you guys to put pressure on yourself like this month to try to have it all figured out because it's like, you can't even, it's like the energetically, whatever it is you guys have left behind that chapter is closed but there's still unfinished business in relation to this chapter because I feel like you guys haven't necessarily reconciled this within yourself because it's just, it, it's still trying to, uh, it's like being in shock. You know what I mean? Like if you, like, and I'm thinking like traumatic shock, like, you know, um, seeing like a car accident in front of you and it's like you witnessed it, but it's like it hasn't clicked. Like it has not hit you that this has transpired. And I mean, for some of you guys, it could literally be, you know, someone unexpectedly passed away for some of you. But um, it's it's almost like a, a and this seems so isolated. Like how I'm seeing these energies with the world in the reverse, the Hierophant in uh the nine of cups in reverse, it's like I'm seeing that as like isolated. So this to me, it feels like something like this is literally something that came out of left field, you know, like it literally has. And and that's the only way, that's the best way I could explain it, Aries. It's like, it's, it's just shock and awe. I can't process this. I can't make sense of this. I wasn't expecting this. And seeing the Nine of Cups being here, it's like being, you know, right about to complete this cycle, like being right at the Nine of Cups, your wishes being fulfilled and that 10 being like, you know, that close out of that cycle. But it's like I'm seeing this being cut short, like just shy of this. So, I mean, for some of you guys, and I do feel this heavily, for some of you guys, this could be... Um, like a, a person that passed away, like maybe like a young person, not like a kid, but like someone, you know, like friend, family member, sibling, something along those lines that passed away unexpectedly or having plans um, or your future being very much intertwined in something that out of the blue is just gone. And it's and like I said, it's you guys are still in a state of trying to reconcile this. Now, I know, y'all, this is a very, very specific message. So everybody may not resonate with this. But, um, and this feels heavy, dude. Like, energetically, this feels heavy. But the main thing that I want to stress to you guys is to go easy on yourself. Because I feel like right now, whatever this is, y'all, and I'm laughing to try to break up some of this energy because this it's really... Cause I keep feeling something like, like a person who, like the only two ways I could see this is someone who passed away very unexpectedly, like, you know, like, and this is what keeps coming to my mind and I don't know what any of their Zodiac signs are, but I know I saw on the news that there was, um, it was a couple and like the husband per, well, he wasn't the husband yet, but uh a boyfriend proposed to his girlfriend like underwater and um you know he put the little message up and showed her the ring and everything and when he went he went to go swim back to the top but he ended up like drowning right like that's an energy to me of what this feels like like that would be a tangible example of what it is that I'm feeling it's like two people that are in love this person proposes that's a dream come true that's your nine of cups your wish fulfillment 
but it's like somehow in that moment, it's like, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with this person. This is the happiest moment of my life. And suddenly out of the blue, it's like he passes away right after proposing and it's cut short. And it's like trying to reconcile that, like trying to make sense of that. So if you think about how traumatic and how tragic that is, that's exactly the energy signature that I'm seeing for this pl the past influence, the present energy and the challenge. It's like something that was so close, like we were right there and suddenly it's all gone. And that's causing a person to now question everything because it's having one concept of how everything was supposed to pan out from here. And suddenly that's no longer an option and it's no longer an option to where it's like irrevocable. And that's where, like I say, it feels like something like, uh, like it, it doesn't literally have to be death because y'all I'm just gonna have to speak in energy signatures here because this is so heavy I don't even I uh, other than that I have no idea and that's still death related I don't even know how this would translate any other way but it's like it's being so sure of something but it's over and it's irrevocably over like this is something you cannot go back on you know what I'm saying like wheel of fortune, you can't, you know, it's fall. We can't do anything to go back to summer. It's like we have to wait until the wheel turns again type of deal. But again, the thing that I want to stress with this, and I feel like that's probably why you guys intuitive message came out like that, is because in all honesty, Aries, as far as what I'm seeing here with the nine of wands going forward, I really feel like you guys just need to be gentle on yourself right now. And it's not anything that I would say it's like, oh, you know, you need to pick yourself up from the bootstraps or anything like that. Because I legit feel like this is so shocking to me that I feel that I feel it would be unfair to yourself to put too much pressure on yourself right now. It's like right now, I just feel like you guys need to like heal, nurture and be gentle with yourself and find some sense of balance in the midst of all of this. And trying to keep your mind in more of a positive sense. So if this is someone that you lost, it's more or less allowing your mind to fixate on the good times. You know what I mean? On uh, the positive aspects of this person instead of, you know, focusing on just the loss itself. But of course, we know grief is a process. But it's like what all of this is saying to me, Aries, it's literally to go easy on yourself. It literally is. It's trying to find some sense of balance in all of this, but to do that gently because, and I'm saying this, like it feels wrong to, to even give a directive of saying like, you know, just know they're in a better place or whatever, whatever this is. Cause this feels hella heavy. What is at the bottom of y'all deck? Man, this is something Aries. Wow. The six of wands in the reverse is at the bottom of the deck. Y'all are going to have to let me know in the comments what this is, because I don't want to get too specific with this being general. But I mean, whatever this is, this is something that seemed to be in the bag. You know, and then another thing I want to say, too, is looking at the nine of wands, like I'm talking about something traumatic. And the nine of wands is my PTSD card post-traumatic stress disorder you know there may be a need for you guys to really like speak to someone like I mean in the event that this is something that has something to do with like you guys witnessing something traumatic or some sort of unexpected loss whatever this is because this feels so heavy for me dude or like another thing I could think of is like you know um if you were going to marry somebody and like the person didn't show up at the wedding it's like, that's the kind of energy that I feel like this is something that was supposed to transpire and it didn't. And this doesn't make sense to me. And now it's making me question everything. And if it's legit, that serious, dude, whether it's the loss of someone or, you know, being stood up at the altar, because this is not no patty cake type of stuff. Like whatever this is, this is not like, oh, you know, I thought I was going to have my job when I went to work today. And, you know, they fired me. Nah, 
Like this is something that was invested in for some time and now it's gone and that's hard for a person to reconcile. And the whole thing that I can say, like pulling on this intuitive uh, message that I got for you guys, and I'm so glad, thank you spirit for that, is that what you guys need to know is regardless of how bad this looks, wow, thank you spirit, thank you spirit, oh my gosh, thank you spirit for that, that makes so much more sense now. Regardless of how bad this looks, like I said in the beginning, it's like you guys need to know that like even if you feel alone in all of this, it's knowing that spirit is supporting you in all of this. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say if this is like a loss of someone like, you know, all of this was working out in your highest good. Like, no, I'm not saying any of that unless that applies in your situation. But the whole key is here is I feel like this is a very dark time for whatever group of Aries, and this ain't going to be every Aries, but for whatever Aries person I'm talking to, I feel like this is a very dark time in you guys' life. It, it's inadvertently going to become very transformative, but the thing that I want to stress is if you, if you feel like you're, you're descending into a really, really dark space, or if this is something that's literally traumatic... You guys always know that I tell you to go see a therapist. If you feel like this is something that's too much, if it's traumatic, like you lost someone, you witnessed some type of crime or destruction, you need to go see a therapist, period. Because PTSD is not something that you just deal with on your own, on some stuff. You understand? But other than that, or even like I say, getting left at the altar, that's still something. You lose a loved one, that's still something you would want to go talk to a therapist about. But whatever this is, it's like if it's something on a lower level, even though this feels hella, hella like serious for me, if this is something simple, like rug pulled from under you type of thing, you know, where maybe it's like, I don't know, you worked for a nonprofit organization that you thought were really helping kids in third world countries and you found out that the CEO was like pocketing money. Say if it was something like that. So now it's like you're questioning your beliefs on everything. The positive side of this is the fact that it's a recalibration that you guys are getting an opportunity to do to step into your truth. And it's almost like the shakeup had to happen in that sense to kind of, you know, uh, take the scales off of your eyes or, you know, remove the wool from your eyes in a sense. If it's like a, a naivete type of thing. But the energy that I'm feeling, this feels hella serious, Aries, my God. My God, I cannot even, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say, Aries, I don't know. Good Lord. You can ask me yes or no question if you like. Because dude, like what I'm feeling, man, I, because y'all know I'm always giving you guys advice on how to cope with things or how to handle a situation with this this is one of those situations where you have every intended right to grieve and feel what you feel. But at the same time, I still would highly suggest to reach out to someone um, like professional help if you guys are in a place where you feel like you can't get out of a dark place. That's bananas. This is heavy can ask a yes or no question y'all gotta let me know because i feel like this might resonate with one person but guess what that's okay with me we have scorpio we have virgo we have friend we have sun and the answer to your question is yes so scorpio virgo sun the answer to your question is yes and friend now we are going to throw the dice that have no name i don't know what to say about this y'all this feels i don't even know i don't know what to say dang it i don't know what to say what is that? We have Scorpio again, the number 10. This is the completion of a cycle for real, for real. And what? That's Saturn. Oh, man. What is really going on in America? Whew. All right. Saturn calls attention to the importance of your life and experience on this physical plane. Calls your uh, attention to the concentrated experience and learning which can only be awarded to the soul via, via a physical experience. It is in the perceived absence of who I am not that we learn who we are. The soul only knows itself conceptually. So this is all about like karmic lessons and, and, and unfoldment and the experiences in our life 
uh, being catalyst to, you know, the unfoldment of our truth from within. But I mean, Aries, this this feels very groundbreaking for you guys. And like I said, it's like I feel the energy heavy. But it's like I really want to stress that for those of you where this isn't something hella traumatic, it's it's this is something that needed to shake your foundation because your victory would not have been found or your wish fulfillment would not have been found on the path that you guys were on prior to. But it's like, I just really feel in this present moment, there's a need to attune to what happiness looks like for you. What does that look like for me? And that's like for people devoid of this whole trauma type of energy. If this is just something that's kind of, you know, shaking your world up a little bit, a breakup, what have you, you know, you lost your job, whatever, flunked out of school, whatever the case may be, it's just needing to take the time now to really get clear on what happiness looks like for you. What brings balance to your life? What does your idea of joy look like? And it's going back to that intuitive message. It's like you're supported by spirit, but there's a need to go in the direction of what is in alignment with your truth. Because up until this point, I don't feel like you guys have been manifesting from that place. So this is almost like if it's not something traumatic, this would just be a shakeup in your belief system to where for the first time, it's like you're almost realizing that you have the freedom to choose what kind of life you create for yourself. You know what I mean? And you don't necessarily have to accept other people's ideals of what life should be in so many words. Now, you guys, Arcana for the month is, wow, the Wheel of Fortune, if that's not accurate. And if we reduce 10 to 1, the magician as well, and it says, take time to do a personal review of your journey so far. Wow. Remember, success is seeing where you were and where you are now and what you did to get here is success. That is freaking beautiful. I'm happy for this. Y'all, I hope that this isn't something traumatic. But if it is, I hope that I was able to offer some sort of encouragement. I'm going to go over to Vimeo to continue to work this out. We're doing the extended spread over there. So if you guys are about that life, follow me over there. If not, I still love your freaking face. I need to go ground myself and I will see you guys soon and later. This is no less heavier than it was over on YouTube. This has something to do with either a relationship or a family, right? Like maybe, or even a, like a business partnership or something. Dealing with something that isn't completely over. A cycle has ended, it just did not end the way you guys thought that it would. It's unsettling, but it's also very chaotic and very confusing with my group three people, how they're supposed to be a new beginning. <laughs>